Hey guys, uh, this is Nick, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your average, well, basic uh, web page using HTML. So what you see here is a bit of the code that we'll be going over. I'll explain every bit of code in detail in a little bit, but for now, this, if you made a web page with just this code, this entire thing would be the web page that you'd see. You can edit the text to be whatever you like and just throw in a bunch of random stuff and it goes right to the web page. So let's start with from the, let's start from the beginning. First we have the doc type I can't type apparently. HTML. This pretty much says that this pretty much tells the computer that you're going to be using HTML for this. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> so going into it, you use an HTML tag. Uh, that's what these are called. These little bracket. I don't know the name of these things. <laughs> They're called tags. They tell the uh, they tell the system what to do based on what specific tag it's using. Uh, th this is an HTML tag. It uh, all the uh, this is where the HTML begins. Uh, this is where you're going to put everything else. All, all of your uh, upcoming script, anyway. Next comes the body tag. All this is just uh, preparation, anyways. You'll see this a lot, anyway. This is where the main body tag begins. This is where all the code goes, like all the code that's going to be executed. So now we'll get into, actually, yeah, we'll get into specific things you can do in here. First, you can create a comment using those tags. This as the ending part of the tag, and this as the beginning part of the tag. What a comment is, is something that you put into the script, something that you can put into your code, and it won't affect the it won't affect the uh, code whatsoever, but it's pretty much like you're leaving yourself a little note. You're pretty you're like I can put by me <laughs> because why not? And nothing's going to pop up. But if someone opens the script, they're going to see this. You can use this to. Uh, note to yourself where certain things begin or what part of something is. It's just handy. To, it's just handy. Okay, going on. We'll start with we'll start with a heading tag. What heading tags do and it's signified by both of these. This is the beginning heading tag and this is the ending heading tag. And this is the text that's going to be your heading. So what this is going to do is, well, if we see the result, that's going to create a large heading. And that's, well, that'll be on your webpage. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. Anyway, next is naturally a par a paragraph tag or as I like to call it your average text box. With this I can't type apparently. There we go. It will create text on your page. So this is basics, I mean what web page doesn't have text on it? I mean, really. <laughs> but going onward, 
Uh, here's where things get interesting. This is going to be an, what's called an href tag. What this does is let you create a clickable link. Now, you could just type the link in there, and it, well, you'd be able to click it anyway, but. Yes, well, this will allow you to, once you close the tag, you can put text here. And clicking this text will do clickable text. And then we create the ending part of the tag. And if we see the result, that's clickable text and as you can see down at the bottom if we click that text we would go to google.com which that works <laughs> and that's how you create clickable text but you, say you always see those pictures that you can click and it brings you to a certain site we can do that too <laughs> uh, but first we'll show you how to do images in the first place I already have one over here to show you guys. One moment. Okay, so the image SRC is letting you know is letting the system know that there's that this is an image. And then you use the image file. Have a inner name for it and the style. Oh, hold up. There we go. The style is pretty much saying how wide it is, how tall it is, and any other uh, details that you put in there. But for now, we'll just stick with the width and height. So if we try running this, it will give us the image. Pretty neat. So what about an image that you can click to go somewhere? Well, what you what you do is you would create something like this. What you do is start off with the href tag and then you set it to default so that the uh so that it it knows that it isn't text and then you go into an image note, note the indent so it's inside the href tag you use the image file you give that an inner title and then you choose uh, width and height for this <coughs> pardon me and let's click it and see the result that's a little smiley face right there. If we take that, we'll go to uh, the W3Schools uh, webpage, which is the site that I'm using to create this code right now. It's I honestly recommend it. If you want any more details on to like what kind, like, like all this extra stuff you can do in HTML, colors. It's a great it's a great tutorial website and I'd highly recommend it. Anyway, from this point all we'd have to do is and this is important, you have to do these. You have to create a body end tag, you can't forget about these, and an HTML end tag. Now you don't need to create a dot type end tag. But we run the result and this would be a working web page. Yes, I know that's a really weird smiley face, but it would take you to the web page. And we see the results again. Let's try going to Google. Hmm. That's not working the editor. Oh well. But yeah, that would work in uh uh, regular website. 
Anyway, before I go, I just want to show you guys. We'll go to Google for this. That any other image that you can get would work. For example, let's just type in computer. Go to images. Click this image. Copy the image address. Go back over here. Now in place of the smiley dot uh, gif, yes it's gif not gif, paste, see the result, and look, there's the computer. And that's about it guys. I hope you enjoyed the uh, this how to HTML, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.